for our uh, young colleagues, um, we always teach the following whenever we embark on endovascular procedures. Have your risk factors always controlled before and after the procedure. On the other hand, have everything ready inside your angio suite or in the OR. Drugs, uh, sedatives, uh, IV fluids, tridir or, uh, or nitrates. Uh, have different catheters, different sheaths, different guide wires. If you have the means, you get your uh, re-entry uh, devices. Uh, if you have the means and you can acquire an IVUS, which is now very helpful to actually detect the place of your stent and sometimes also the place of your wire, not to go inadvertently into a wrong plane of the section. Uh, number three, if the procedure takes more than 40 minutes trying to cross uh, and the patient starts to be in agony, do not insist on that. Think of a different uh, approach or think of just abandoning the endovascular strategy and going to open surgery, not necessarily in the same sitting. You might wait for a few days and then have uh, another uh, strategy of open surgical repair. All these have to be borne in mind so you have always plan A and plan B and even plan C. Um, and then be aware of another thing, uh, your ego to complete the whole job through the endovascular approach might be uh, one of your harsh enemies. So try to resist that ego of yours and wish you all the best of luck in your career. Thank you.